Hello everyone, today we will discuss about strength duration curve or excitability curve. It is used to study excitability of tissue. It shows that both threshold strength of stimulus as well as sufficient minimal time. Both are required for getting response from an excitable tissue. Here in this curve you can see on the x axis duration is displayed and on the y axis strength of stimulus or intensity of the stimulus they are displayed. Now some of the terminologies that we are using in the curve one that is Rio base. Rio base is the minimum strength of current which is required to excite an excitable tissue. This is you can see Rio basic strength of current this one this one minimum strength of current. Next is utilization time when minimum intensity of stimulus or minimum strength of stimulus that is Rio basic strength of stimulus is applied you can see here this is Rio basic strength of stimulus the time required to stimulate the tissue this one it is utilization time here you can say that when the stimulus is less than minimum intensity or strength or you can say less than Rio basic strength it cannot produce response no matter how long the stimulus is applied you can see here when we are applying the stimulus less than this much strength it cannot stimulate the tissue when the stimulus applied for very short duration it also cannot produce response no matter how strong the stimulus is next is chronaxi it is the minimum time which is required to excite the tissue when strength of current is double than rio base you can see here this is Rio basic strength of current when we are applying double than Rio basic strength of current this much time is required to excite tissue that is chronaxi. Chronaxi is the measure of excitability when the chronaxi is less excitability is more and when the chronaxi is more excitability is less. Chronaxi in the human skeletal muscle is 0.08 to 0.32 milliseconds. Now, chronaxi is shorter in nerve fiber than in the muscle fiber, which denotes that nerve fiber has greater excitability. Chronaxi is also shorter in homeothermic animals and chronaxi is shorter by increase in temperature. And chronaxi is longer in paralyzed muscle than in the normal muscle as well as in the neural disease. Chronaxi is longer and it shows that excitability decreases. This is about excitability curve. Now we discuss some MCQs. First, that is chronaxi is defined as options are A. Double the Rio basic strength B. Minimum time required to excite the fiber when strength of current is double the Rio basic strength C. Minimum time required to excite the tissue when strength of current is minimum and D. All of the above. Answer is B. Second, chronaxi is minimum in Options are A. Large myelinated fibers, B. Skeletal muscle fibers, C. Unmyelinated fibers and D. All of the above. Answer is A. 3. Rio base indicates. Options are A. Magnitude of current, B. Rate of discharge, C. Velocity of nerve conduction and D. Specificity of impulse transmission. Answer is A. So this is all about excitability curve. Thank you.